guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be finally fixing my transmission, the jerky stupid feeling. Um, you know, with all my money, I've been rather putting it on mods than actually trying to fix my car. And you know, that's a dumb thing because if my transmission blows, I'm not driving the car I put all my money into. So I went ahead and I bought this kit. Uh, that has everything you need to replace your transmission fluid, your gasket for the pan and the pan itself. Um, comes with the fluids, the kit, the pump, the bolts, everything you need. I'll have the link in the description from where I bought it Amazon. It came in two days. Um, very, very, very quick. And I'm very, very excited to do this. Mainly because I've never, my transmission has been jerking since the day I got it. I just, it wasn't that noticeable in the day I got it, but it's just getting, re, it's just been getting really, 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 really bad. So I don't want it to blow up on me or anything like that. So I'm going to take it into account and actually start working on it now. So if you guys didn't see from yesterday's video, my brother did get a BMW. Um, I'm very, very, very excited for him. I can't actually believe. He got the coupe. The coupe was literally my dream. I always wanted a coupe, but you know, looking at mine now, yeah, my, my baby's gorgeous though, so I'll, I'll never cheat on her. Um, that is my baby, and this is my brother's baby. But I mean, absolutely gorgeous. I love the car. Um, we took it out for a little spin. I'll show you guys why you couldn't actually take it out for a long, long spin in maybe, maybe another video. This is off the topic of this video. But I mean, there's a lot of cool projects going on with this one. And you know, everything that happens with this one, like I said in yesterday's video, applies to that one. So, again, very, very, very excited. And let me just get these cars out of the garage so we can just start the video already. My girl, I ride the south, she, she went bad though. Jesus, peace up on her neck, a shawty faithful. It's summertime, so let's go to the echo. Got my baby riding shotgun, counting pesos. Alright guys, at this point, um, you have to get four jack stands, make sure you get a low profile jack. To be honest guys, with my car, from, because of my lip, I'm going to have to probably drive it on some uh, two by fours on the front and then jack it from there. Um, the rear, I have enough space, but the front's kind of low because of the lip and the bumper. So, I'm going to have to, you know, drive it on blocks anyways, but even though my normal jack, st my normal jack will not be able to jack up the car, uh, this thing is long enough and low enough to get to the, the jacket point in the front of the car. So you have to get a low profile jack, four jack stands, and uh, let me show you guys what's in here. There we go. Uh, that's what you need for these hubs, these little, I don't know what they are exactly, they're like jack point hubs, I don't know, whatever. If you guys know exactly the name of them, put it down in the description for other people. Um, so yep, you need four of these and they're all in here. And then obviously you need the full transmission kit. I'll show you guys an unboxing of this in a little bit. Uh, right now I'm just gonna try to put the car on all four jack stands. My girl, I ride Versace, she went back though Jesus, peace up on her neck, a shawty faithful It's summertime, so let's go to the echo Got my baby riding shotgun, counting pistols Alright, so you guys see right there where I'm jacking it you see this like this this gray pole and there's a gray pole on the other side as well. I'm not, I'm not sure what this is. I'm just considering it the frame of the car. There's this like rectangular piece on the top. The camera probably won't show it, but it's right above the jack. And that's where you want to put that the jack point onto this rect this rectangular piece. I'm trying to get it up a little bit higher just so I can put this jack underneath. And once I do that, um, I'm gonna try to do it on the other side as well, then lower the car. As you guys can see now, I put the the little hub you know, almost perfectly in there. Make sure the jack stand is centered. And uh, I'm gonna drop the car on that once I put it on the other side as well. All right, so the jack is out. It's officially lowered. And you guys can see that it's on the jack stands, which is a good sign. Now that I have the front side um, jacked up, I'm gonna go ahead in the rear and start jacking that side up. All right, so I just put this jack stand on this side. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do on the other side since I don't have a fourth jack stand. All right, guys, so I'm actually very, very, very happy on how this turned out. It's on all four jack stands. It's the first time I've ever done this. Um, for the rear, everyone's saying to jack it from the diff. I felt super sketched out by doing that, but that is literally the only way you can jack it up from the rear. So I did it. But um, when you do the front, then the rear, the diff is at an angle, um, and there's like a plate in the front of the diff. Make sure that you're not jacking it from the plate. You have to jack it from the diff, but the diff's going to be at a little bit of an angle, and then once you jack it higher and higher and higher, the diff should straighten out. So at this point, guys, I'm just going to show you guys where I jacked it on the diff. As you guys can see, there's a silver plate right over here. You guys should not be jacking it from that plate at all. Like, don't have any of the jack on that. Make sure the jack is completely on the diff itself. And, uh, should zoom. Make sure that the, the jack is at 100% on the diff, and you should be good. I'm a time of Southern California. I'm a time of Southern California. I want to 
you smoke marijuana Tell me what you really wanna do Tell me what you really wanna do Tryna spend my time on you Guys, this is honestly filthy. I can definitely see that my transmission has been leaking a lots of fluids. And also, the pan is just drenched. It's just absolutely disgusting. I cannot wait to replace this and see how it is afterwards. All right, guys, so what I figured out you needed for the transmission pan, you needed a size 10 Allen. I didn't have one, so I went down to Harbor Freight and I picked these guys up. Um, they were like $2, pretty cheap. So I'm finally going to get underneath the car and, um, you know... Drain this thing. It's one but my wrist cold, baked up and I'm so cold. Girl, what you waiting for? I don't wanna be a Kendall Jenner. Long late night, thank you, dinner. Tell me what you really need right now. Jim, I'll probably hold you down. My girl, I'll rob the south, she, she went big though. Jesus, peace up on the neck, a shawty fit for. It's summertime, so let's move to the echo. Got my baby right, shotgun counting pace. At this point, guys, I took out the pan. I'm letting the transmission drain out all the extra fluids that it needs and I'm about to start showing you guys what I got in the box here. Super excited about that. So guys, while we're waiting for the transmission to completely drain all the all the fluids, we're going to open up the box that we got in here. So we're going to take this apart. I can 100% assure that this is the transmission, uh, the new transmission pan with the gasket. I'll show you guys my transmission pan and gasket. It is completely destroyed. I don't even know what happened to it, honestly. That thing, it's about time to be replaced. Remove some more bubble wrap. It's honestly like Christmas. We got all kinds of new bolts. These bolts are like $60 alone. It's ridiculous. So it looks like I got a new drain bolt with the, with the washer. And I have all the other bolts that I need to put the pan back, which is great. Put that off to the side. More bubble wrap. These are all the fluids that I need that cost like $160. The fluids I got, um, I have no idea what these are. 6 HP fluid. I don't know. But these are recommended by everyone on the forum. So I ended up just getting these guys. Not really sure what the fluids are to be 100% honest with y'all. Oh my god, look how nicely they boxed it, guys. <laughs> That's what I was looking for. And this is the pump that you need to put all your fluids back in your car. Uh, I just had to squeeze all the extra fluids out of there. So this is the old one. Just take a look at it. The gasket is completely destroyed all the way around. That's why it's leaking. And if you guys look at the bottom here, you can see how it's just drenched in fluid. This one obviously is a new one. It's supposed to look a whole lot better. I believe I have to take off this cap right here. All right, guys. So at this point, I'm gonna go down underneath the car and uh, just clean off the transmission using a new, like a clean rag. Uh, preferably a new rag. Just clean off all the extra fluids that are under there and then uh, put on the new pan and uh, I'll show you guys how to put the fluids and everything and you know change the gears to make sure the fluids go through and everything. So, my girl, See, faded, shoddy, fine, and she know it. She blowing smoke in the air locomotive. When she walk in the room, everyone notice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I got no time for no bullshit, so baby ain't playing no game. She saying my name, give me chills, she a bad one. Way, way better than my last one. Pretty face with that tiny way, she got me going crazy, I admit it. Backside view, flawless, she getting all this, it's baby, so with it. And she holding me down when I'm not around. But when I'm in town, shit is going down. She throwing that shit for me all around. Ain't no way this should be allowed. My girl on Rob is she, she went bad though. Jesus, peace up on her neck, a shawty fit for. It's summertime, so let's go to the echo. Got my baby right, shotgun counting. Hey guys, my hair is really messed up today. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep this hat on, you know, BMW for life. Um. <laughs> I just got done with the transmission and everything, took it out for a drive, uh, and this is about a week later. I didn't want to upload this video with no feedback, so this is about a week later with the transmission, new fluids and everything. Um, for the first two days, it was leaking a little bit of transmission fluid, and I wasn't understanding where it was coming from, but I guess because I had a little bit more than it should have, it leaked a little, you know, that's fine, it's whatever. Um, but the transmission didn't give me instant, uh, you know, results. It took about a week to show a little bit of results. My transmission still jerks almost as much as it did, but I feel the, tra the, the, the you know, the transitions between the gears are a whole lot more smooth. Um, and I, I can feel the transmission's healthier because for some, I, I don't know, like the, dr the driving is different. 
you you can see the different and you know it had to be done my fluids were black it smelled like burnt rubber it was terrible um, but now I still see that my transmission is 100% fixed. So what I'm going to do for you guys to, you know, take this a step further and make sure for me and for you guys, if you're having the exact same issue, because I know it's frustrating, I'm going to take this car down to BMW and pay their $120 inspection cost to uh, check my transmission, see what exactly is wrong with my transmission. You know, is it my Megatronics? Is it the sensors? Is it the computer? Is it the training itself? What is it exactly that's wrong with my training? Um, because I'm, I'm tired. I don't want to keep replacing everything. And then it turns out, you know, you, you got to replace the whole training. Um, my friend told me that you just need to update the systems. I'm not, you know, going to go update the systems because systems are about 200 bucks. I'm not going to do it without being 100% certain that is the reason, you know, that is the cause of my issue. Um, what caused my transmission to jerk in the first place is the fluids. The fluids had to be replaced. And, you know, whether this is going to give you guys instant results or not fluids have to be replaced i keep that in mind this video you guys should really you know you guys should you guys need to replace your fluids regardless but then after you do that if you don't see instant results you need to go down and uh you know get an inspection but if you don't if you don't want to get an inspection that's what i'm you know going to be making a video about i'm going to be making a video about what bmw found that's wrong with my transmission because it's an 06 and it's probably going to be the exact same as your guys issues and you know i'll keep you guys posted um sorry for this being a long outro you know it's uh, i just want to make sure you guys understand everything so i'm going to be getting a video out informing you guys a hundred percent what is wrong with my car what can I do to get it fixed and is it fixable or I need a new train? But yeah guys, if you did enjoy this video, smash that like button and let me know down in the comments if you guys are having the exact same issue I am. If it's jerking when you're coming to a complete stop, is it jerking when you're going from 5th to 6th gear, 1st to 2nd gear? Because those are my issues and I'm really frustrated. So I'm sure you guys are going through the exact same stuff. Um, and that you guys probably clicked on this video and watching this end piece right now because of how frustrated you are with your transmission. So take it easy guys. Peace out, and I see you guys in the next one. She got me saying, Yalla, huh, baby? I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. She got me saying, Yalla, huh, baby? I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. You know, you're all.